Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make the basic Fleece Fun hat. This hat has been around since Fleece Fun's inception. Oh my gosh, it's going on like 13 years old. <laughs> and this hat has gone through many different variations. I've tweaked the pattern again. I don't know if I'll ever be completely 100% happy with it, but I'm happy with where it is at the moment. So I'm going to show you how to make this really basic fleece hat. It is so fast and easy to sew up, it makes it perfect for little kids who lose their hats all the time to charitable events and other things like that. It's just a great, good, solid hat pattern. And I'm going to show you how to make it. For this project, you will need a third of a yard of fleece, sewing machine, sewing essentials, scissors, pins, that sort of thing and fleecefun.com's free printable pattern available on fleecefun.com. And a little tip is that this hat pattern is, it's not huge. And so you can easily go to the remnants bin and find fleece fabric for half or it's even 75% off in the remnants bin and save yourself some money on your hat pattern. So always check that bin first. All right, first things first, we're going to assemble the pattern and then we're going to cut out the pattern. Step one, assemble the free pattern and cut out the pieces to the fleece hat. First, you'll need to assemble the free PDF sewing pattern. Instructions on how to do this are on the channel. You can see that all the pattern sizes are together. To conserve on paper, make the largest size needed first and then cut down the same pattern to the smallest size so you can easily use the same pattern multiple times. Double the fabric. Make sure that the stretch of the fabric is going across the hat for a more comfortable fit. On doubled fabric, cut out the pattern. Now that you've done that, we're going to sew the sides of the hat. Step two, sew the sides together. Pin the fleece right sides together. You can tell the right side of the fleece by gently tugging on the edge. The side that the fabric curls to is the right side. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew each side of the hat along the curved side to the point before it dips into the V. Be sure to leave the bottom, the brim of the fleece hat open. Now it's time to sew the top of the hat. And this is a lot like a boxed corner. I'm going to try and do this slow and show you from a couple different angles. This is the trickiest part of the pattern that can actually hang up. It's kind of a hang up for some people. It's really not that hard. I'm going to try and show you from a few different angles to give you a really good idea. But basically, it's a lot like a boxed corner. Step three, sew the V shut. Hey, can you do me a favor and just go ahead and hit that like button for me right now? It's hard work, you know, designing a pattern, filming the pattern, then, you know, editing the thing and putting it up on the internet. It's a whole process. And that little like, that little click from you goes a long way to help out my channel. Really do appreciate it. Now that you've sewn the sides of the hat, it's time to close the top. The V refers to the dip at the top of the hat. Take the bottom of each V on the top and bottom and pull them so now the seams you just sewed are touching or fold the hat in half so that the seams you just sewed are touching. Pin the V on each side closed. I'm going to show you this again because this seems to be the step that trips up everyone. Take the bottom of each V on the top and bottom and pull them so now the seams you just sewed are touching. Or fold the hat in half so that the seams you just sewed are touching. Pin the V on each side closed. Sew one seam along the top of the hat, closing the V on both sides. This is similar to a boxed corner. This will make the rounded top. All right, now it's time to sew the brim. Step four, make the brim. Now you can't put the hat on the person to adjust the brim that will work for them. If you don't have the person around, best bet is an inch. Next, turn the brim edge under one inch, more or less if you like, and pin in place. Sew a zigzag stitch over the edge of the fabric all the way around. In the sample, I've used contrasting threads so the stitching is obvious so you can see it but when you use a similar color thread, it is hardly visible. 
Snip a few slits in the curve of the hat to help it lay nicely on the head. Then cut any loose threads and turn right side out. And that's it. This is the basic version of the hat. There are several modifications to it to make it more interesting. Anything from horns to other modifications just to give it a little more personality. But hey, you can make a hat that will fit everyone in your crew. And that's it. You have this great, good, solid beanie pattern. It covers the ears, fits the head. It comes in patterns from baby to adult, so everyone can get in on the fun. And it is just a, a handy thing to have during the cold winter months. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. Now, if you like this pattern, I have several more on fleecewind.com. This is actually the basic pattern. I have a bunch of modifications for this pattern. So I have like puppy ears you can put on it or horns or um, dinosaur scales and all kinds of cool ways that you can modify this basic hat to give it a little more personality. So be sure to check out those variations. I'll have a link and just go to fleecewind.com and check out all those different hat patterns.